All right, so this weekend I had to I had to Madisonville, Tennessee, and Grandview, Tennessee, to pick up a motor and a transmission for the 1981 F100 that we've already started a video on, but I'm, I haven't made it really far enough to post it yet. Anyways, regardless, so today we're going to be making preparations for that. Um, rather than taking my truck down there and just loading into the back of it, my whole family wants to go, so therefore we're going to take the uh, Ford Flex that we have. So this trailer right here, the wiring on it is half jerry rigged and just not good. And it doesn't even half work. If it were if it worked, I'd be like whatever. But it doesn't even half work. So today we're going to be uh, fixing that. And um, yeah, that's going to be today's video, guys. We're going to be making preparations for this for the trip we're about to take and. Uh, we want to travel. So my camera died yesterday, but I got this right here, kind of zip tied up. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit better job, and now I'm going to grab some electrical tape and wrap it, cut these zip ties. But um, I got everything soldered up, heat shrinked, and it's good to go. The new lights are installed. 
It's all looking pretty good. The same thing on the other side. As you can see, I actually, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do what I did here. I think I'm going to do it over there. I'm going to do it inside of that, which is probably what I should have done here. But I didn't. I did it right there on the rail. It looks like crap. I might just cut all that and move it. And then just, I got zip ties. Um, anyway, but before I do any of that, stepped in something. Before I do any of that, we're gonna come over here. I gotta make up this right here. And this is gonna bolt right here to this. Um, as you can see, that's where the old one was. Um, we're not doing it underneath this washer. This washer will go on. Then this eye terminal will go on. And I'll show you the ones I got. This one right here, this is waterproof. It's kind of, it's four, six, it's four, 10 to 12 gauge wire, but I think I can crimp it down enough anyway. It's gonna slide over that and, um, you know, do its thing. I'll probably have it pointed back here. Try to keep it out of the way. Anyway, that's the current plan. So that's what we're doing now. So I didn't get to record as much as I wanted to because of the weather. Um, it's been right for like all day now, so regardless, it's finished. So we got this connected here, zip tied right here. I put a little zip tie here for like strain relief so that all these wires aren't pulling on each other because as you can see, these right here are already starting to pull out. I don't want that happening here, so I went ahead and put a zip tie on all of it to make sure that it all stayed nice and good. Instead of, because it's raining, I kind of want to be in the house. Um, so I'm trying to put my camera here. Um, but I went ahead and finished that. It don't look too bad, I don't think. Zip tied up there. I put this in all the way around it. It's held in there decently tight. It ain't gonna fuck around. That over there is what I did on that. That may change later. It looks all right, I guess. It ain't the best looking thing in the world. Um, and then, I didn't get to show you this earlier, guys, but yeah, this is all soldered up over here, so. Nice soldering connections. So, everything is heat shrinked and soldered, so this thing's actually submergible um, into water because this right here is 100% sealed. And uh, it's actually nice and sturdy. I was afraid because this is really too big of a connector, but I think it'll work out, especially since I did my strain relief right here. So, I don't really have to worry about it tugging on it too bad. With, uh, with that there so and then of course you know I really wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind like doing something else maybe maybe tightening that zip tie up because it is a little loose I wouldn't mind uh, tightening it up a little bit it's a little loose uh, to make sure that's nice and snug but regardless guys alright guys so I came back inside to finish off this video because it's still raining pretty hard out there don't know when it's gonna stop so um regardless guys uh, the trailers wired and it is ready to go now before only one of the brake lights worked uh, the turn signals just didn't work and I kinda just didn't want to try to rewire it, it was already kinda like half rigged together so um, regardless it's fixed now and everything works properly so I want to thank you guys very much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time bye bye